going into our podcast for this week. So on Wednesday, we're going to release our interview that I'm doing with Tim McGrath this Sunday that will be released on the podcast on next Wednesday. So the 24th of August, knee, uh, Tim McGrath is a knee specialist. He has a clinic in Canberra known as the pitch. And he's um, specifically well known in the elite sports circles for um, really working with difficult cases from a knee uh, injury point of view. So helping athletes, rugby, soccer, football, uh, AFL football, that is, um, that have had maybe two ACL uh, injuries um, and they're, they're, they're returning back to play, whether it be operation or, or non-op. Um, so really looking forward to having the chat with Tim this Sunday live. If you have any questions for Tim and you're listening to this uh, on our Instagram or YouTube, make sure to tune in. That's going to be at 3.30 p.m. this Sunday. And if you're listening to this in the podcasting world on Monday, where we release this episode, um, stay tuned. We're going to release that in the podcast on Wednesday. Our live episode for next week is going to be with Brendan Eagleston. I'm lucky enough to work with Brendan. He works at the Melbourne Footy Club and is our rehabilitation physiotherapist. And he's going to, his topic of discussion is going to be all about his processes to return to performance uh, it's got a nice balance between working really closely with the athlete and building up and making sure they feel confident they, they're they ready to re not only return, but return uh, in good shape, as well as having some objective markers that he's, he's developed over his system working at Norwich, North Melbourne Football Club, and then now his time at Melbourne Football Club. So he's got great experience and a, and a great philosophy to share with us in terms of his principles and methods for returning athletes in um, in good shape and, and getting a good result. Um, so that's Wednesday, 8 p.m. And like all our private uh, live shot shows, it's dynamic. You guys can tune in. You can send in your questions and watch it live as we as we have our chat. So make sure to tune in for that one. Um, and then on Friday, we have two live events. One for Australian Rules Football is all about game day preparation. We're at the pointy end of the season. So... We want to talk about recovery early in the week We want to, and, and straight after the game, which is when recover, the recovery mode starts, uh, how you can maximize your sleep, your nutrition, uh, active recovery, massage, and, and really make sure you've got a good routine at the end of August that you can see through all the way through to September, hopefully playing on the last dance in the, in the grand finals. For the strength conditioning coaches listening in, super pumped about um, our next get better plan episode will be last one was all about load monitoring how to do it with gps how to do it without gps for your um, sporting club that you're working with this one's going to be more on the business side of things and i'll try and keep that even split between business and um and coaching so this next one's going to be um all about a new technology that i've been using to help me with my content and to stay on top of my of a consistent schedule that works for me uh, and um be able to provide uh, quality content across YouTube, websites, so your blog posts, and of course, social media. So it can get overwhelming uh, and it can be quite hard to consistently put out um, good content. And I find this particular app that I'm going to share on how I use it uh, and the different systems I've put in place to give me a, um, to make it sustainable and to give me some assistance. A flush run is is simply a active recovery that players will do anywhere um, from typically plus two days from their game day. So if you played on Saturday, that would be on Monday. Uh, and it, it's all about feeling good. So also known as active recovery. Um, flush because you, you, you're promoting blood flow through your legs, which will help remove a lot of waste products, which is built up with high intensity bouts uh, and also the big hits in the contested part of the game. Um, it just helps flush all, all that out of the body and helps... Um, the body remove all that waste product. So um, rather than sitting idle and uh, letting all that just sit there, it, it's really helpful for athletes to actually move um, once they're uh, plus two days from their game to help them recover early in the week and then prepare for their main training session, which helps them prepare ultimately for the, for the next game. Whereas if you just um, lay low and players may, you may find that listening in, in, in a week where if you've haven't done much for a 48 hour period, you feel quite sluggish. And that's because you haven't used your body uh, and both mentally and physically that can have a negative effect. So to be able to follow an aerobic flush run, also known as a feel good run, 
in the Australian circles. It's really simple. You can, and I've done this many times with the teams I've worked with, you start at one arc of the ground, you run to the other end of the arc. And the main cue that I like to focus on is keep your feet close to the ground. So it's, you know, the opposite of high speed, high sprinting efforts where you, your feet, uh, because you're generating so much force, is, is traveling far off the ground and you're getting a high knee lift with this aerobic flush run. We want little steps and keep your feet close to the ground. So you're moving at a slow speed and that um, distributes the loads over many um, steps. So it's a high cadence run 